Ah, what a beautiful day in Brookhaven. Just chilling at the park and relaxing. Feels pretty great. And yo, what the heck? These people just said, sir, sir. Uh, yes? Excuse me. Uh, what's up? What's up? Oh my gosh. Why are they yelling? Have you seen a kid running around here? Have you seen this kid? Oh, there's probably a picture of him. Uh, okay, let me see. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't seen any kids. I'm not sure what they're saying, to be honest. Oh, uh, this is the kid. She said, this kid. I'm gonna say, no, I haven't seen him at all. Why? What's the matter he said are you sure he's been gone for three days oh my goodness i feel so bad for them he's our son i'm gonna say well what happened did he run away did he go missing they said yes he never said where he was going he ran away oh okay that's interesting i'm not only too sure why he would do that i'm gonna say do you know why that can sort of help you figure it out we had an argument a few days ago and later after the argument he ran away we never saw him and they said yeah oh my goodness that's horrible i'm gonna say okay listen listen i'm not gonna lie i'm a pretty good detective if you want i can try and look for him to be honest i'm not only really too sure why i'm doing this but they said i'll pay you anything if you start looking for him yes please i'm gonna say okay okay just say a number <laughs> i don't really need the money but they said ten thousand would be fine is ten thousand good whoa 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 say if you find them <laughs> okay 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 you get this i'm gonna say sounds good sounds good i'm gonna say well if you want me to find him i need some info first things first are there any places he goes often he goes to his friend's house the park school starbrooks the diner ice cream shop bro they're naming everything in the game <laughs> okay <laughs> look uh can you narrow it down you just named everything. <laughs> What's his favorite place? All right, he goes mostly school, the park, and his friend's house. Okay, so the park's obviously clear, but ice cream shop and his friend's house. That seems like the top two places. Okay, I'll write that down. I'm gonna say, okay, got it. I'm gonna say, where does this friend live? And what's his name? Is he the type of friend to let him live with him? You know, that's an important question as well. He said, I don't think so. No, he has strict parents. Okay, I'm gonna say, but still, where does he live? House number 21. I'm going to say, okay, got it. All right, writing that down as well. I'm going to say, okay, and lastly, have you told the police? It's best if everyone knows he's missing. That way you can point him out. And they said, uh, yes, we did. Of course we did. I'm going to say, okay, got it. I'm going to say, I'll let you know if I get any info. I'll start searching now. And where are you guys located? Uh, just in case I need to tell them, obviously. They said, okay, thank you so much, sir. Yeah, no problem. House number 11. I'm going to say, got it. Thanks again. They said, no problem. Find him, please. Please, I'm going to say, don't worry. I'm on it. All right, boys, I didn't get to work now. I won't lie. I'm not too sure when I signed up to be a private investigator, but <laughs> I think I can do the job. <laughs> okay, first, I need to ask the police if they have any more info. Obviously, if they do, it can help them put me in the right direction. And also, ice cream shop is clear. Not here at all. Anyways, we're at the police station. I'm going to say, hello, Mr. William. How are you? And he said, hey. He said, I'm good. How about you? I'm going to say, I'm great. I just need a little bit of help. He said, with? Well, I'm looking for someone who recently went missing. I got the picture of him. Uh, he said, went missing? I'm going to say, yes, let me show him the picture really fast. Uh, here you go. Take a look. He said, oh, Marcus. I'm going to say, yes, Marcus. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm glad he told me the name because they didn't even tell me the name. So <laughs> that's good. He said, well, yeah, he's missing. What about him? I'm going to say, well, I'm looking for him, obviously, and I need some more info. Do you guys have any leads? Any idea on his whereabouts? He said, are you related to him? Uh, not gonna lie, I am not, but I am gonna lie. <laughs> I'm gonna say yes, of course I am. I'm his brother. <laughs> okay, guys, you definitely should not lie to cops, but I'm doing this because I'm a private investigator and I have to figure out where Marcus is. He said, oh, he said, well, he said, we saw him on camera a couple times. Okay, good, good. So he's still alive. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't think he'd be dead. He said, but he disappears. Okay, that's interesting. He said, we've seen him near the Crown Point community. Oh, Crown Point community. Okay, that's the O community. It's kind of hard to see. Crown Point, I believe, is up there. Okay, we'll look after there later. I'm gonna say, okay, got it. Anything else at all? He mostly shows up on camera at nighttime. So yeah, that's it. Okay, interesting. So he won't be out during the day. I'm gonna say, thank you, sir. I appreciate the info. All right, I'm out of here. Okay, first things first, I need to get to the Crown Point community. He said he's been spotted around there, which means he could be in that area living there, or he could just be near there for some reason. I don't really know, but regardless, we need to check. All right, so as you can see, we are in the Crown Point community, and where is Marcus? I'm gonna say, oh, Marcus. Hold on, I have an idea. I'm gonna say, I have ice 
ice cream. Come on, Marcus. Come out, come out. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably talking to myself right now. I don't think Marcus is anywhere to be found. And gosh, are we even gonna find him? Like, there's literally no telling where he could be. Look how big Brookhaven is. Look how many houses there are. It's gonna be difficult to find. I'm not gonna lie, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna find him somewhere. But yeah, Crown Point community seems pretty empty. There's nobody over here at all. He's definitely not here. All right, I gotta keep moving. I gotta keep moving. All right, next I need to check is actually his friend's house. Yes, he could very well be with his friend right now. And if he's with his friend, his friend probably won't rat him out, but we should be able to tell by the friend's uh, character, the way he's acting. And here we are, house number 21. That's where the parents claim his friend lives. So let me go ahead and ring the doorbell. And, uh, oh, he's home. Perfect. And oh, look, there he is. He said, hey, I'm gonna say hello, Xavier. Uh, nice to meet you, buddy. He said, nice to meet you too. And he said, uh, who are you? And why are you here? I'm gonna say, well, Xavier, I've been told that you are a good friend of Marcus. Is that true? He said, yeah. I'm gonna say, cool, cool. Well, he said, have you heard from him, by the way? Oh, you see, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I think he's playing dumb. He didn't reply to my message till now. Wait, what? I'm gonna say, listen, he's gone missing. Were you aware of that? And he said, what? He said, how? I'm gonna say, well, I guess he ran away after an argument with his parents. He just said, that's horrible, man. I'm gonna say, yes. So, he's not staying with you, is he? And he said, uh, no. I'm gonna say, Xavier, tell me the truth. It is a crime if he is staying with you. He said, it is the truth, man. And you said a crime? <laughs> I'm gonna say, yes, a crime. See, guys, he's getting scared, meaning he actually might be staying with him. Interesting. He said, I never knew that, haha. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna say, so last time I'm asking, is he staying with you or not? He said, um, nope, definitely not. I'm gonna say, okay. Okay, guys, he does not sound believable at all. I'll get back to cooking, haha. <laughs> bye. Bro, what the heck? I never said bye, and he wasn't cooking. He was on the couch. See? That's suspicious. And bro, he closed the curtains. Okay, that's even weirder, bro. I'm not liking that. Not gonna lie, there is a good chance that Marcus is inside of this house right now, but unfortunately, I cannot just break in. There's also a chance he's not, though, so I'm gonna keep moving around, look for any more clues to see if I could find them. Alright, well, we've checked this side of the map, but we should probably check the other side now. There's also a good chance that Marcus could be hiding near his parents' house. Sometimes when people run away, they kind of regret it, so they keep a close eye on their house or where they used to live. Now, they said they live at house number 11, I believe, which I passed. It is right here. Okay, interesting. And there they are. They're both on the couch right now watching TV. Let's see what they're watching. This could be interesting. And what are they watching? I can't really tell, to be be honest they're watching oh breaking news and oh the mom just said i wish marcus would just pop up now he must be out there somewhere okay look i'm gonna get back to looking all right he's not over here let me check the hills i'm up on the hill now i see nothing i'll get some binoculars in case and okay also still see nothing just empty houses interesting guys not gonna lie i'm pretty sure xavier marcus's friend is a good lead on where he could be but like i said we cannot break into his house but there is something we can do before we do that, though, I want to check something. It's becoming nighttime. This is when Marcus normally comes out. Now, obviously, I can't look at everywhere in the city at the exact same time, but I can get pretty close. If you guys don't know, there's cameras down here in the Brookhaven layer, the secret layer. Now, if I open this trap door, go in here, sit on these cameras, I'll be able to look around Brookhaven. And as you can see, we have cameras everywhere. And oh, it's already dark. Perfect. This is when Marcus is normally out. We got to keep our eyes peeled. We have the lake here, grocery store here. I right, look at that guy working there. And wait a minute. I see something. Uh, guys, look at that. There's someone walking on the road. No, no, no way that's him. No way it's him. Marcus Jr. It is him. Oh my goodness. Wait, where's he going? I lost him. <gasps> wait a minute. He's in the grocery store. Okay. Interesting. This is good. This is good. Okay. I can't see where he's going. But let me go ahead and pan the camera around and oh, he's grabbing uh, Gatorade, it seems. And yes, he opened it up. He just grabbed it. Okay. Interesting. And now what's he doing? He said, I'll take this. Okay, he's buying it. Okay, I should get going now. I'm not gonna lie. He's checking out now. Which means I need to go. He said, all right, here. Okay, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go. Fast, fast. Come on, move, move. Where is he? Where is he? Oh my gosh. I see him, I see him, I see him. Marcus, stop. Oh my gosh. No, I can't speed up at all. And wait, where's he going? I think he's going to the house. Bro, where did he go? Oh my goodness, I lost him. 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you though. Him coming right here is way too suspicious. He came right toward the direction of this house as if he was living here. Listen, boys, Marcus is definitely in this house. It's still very early. He went to the grocery store to grab something, it seems. So what I'm gonna do is stake out of this house and see if I can catch Marcus coming out in 4K. I'm gonna hide right here and I'm gonna sit on this roof and watch. Hopefully we find him. Okay, the curtain just opened for some reason. That's interesting. And wait, Xavier said something in the chat. He said, finally, you're here. You gotta be careful, bro. Wait, what the heck? Is he talking about Marcus? I don't know. I can't really see. All right, look, I'm gonna just wait. Hopefully this works. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm still just watching and nothing is happening. I'm not gonna lie. Marcus might not be in there, bro. I could just be over guessing this. I mean, maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. I don't know. And oh, Marcus. No, 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 no. I'm not letting you get away this time, buddy. I'm not letting you. There he is. I got him right in my sights. Yes, yes. I'm going to say Marcus. Stop now. Stop. I know he's running. He's running. I'm going to say Marcus, please. What are you doing? Please. And he said, no. Bro, Marcus, where are you going? Bro, I know where you're going. I watched you. I'm going to say, buddy, stop. Come on. Oh my gosh. He's running again. And wait, where did he go this time? Oh, I see him. I see him. <laughs> you can't run from me, Marcus. I'm going to say, Marcus, come on. Let's just talk, please. I'm not your parents, okay? I see him hiding in the box. He said, what do you want? I'm going to say, Marcus, your family misses you. They want to see you, buddy. They're worried. He said, no, they don't. He said, they had an argument with me. They don't care. Listen, everyone has arguments. It's part of life. Doesn't mean they hate you. They love you. And he said, I don't care, bro. Oh, Marcus. I'm going to say, buddy, take a seat. Take a seat. He said, I don't want to go there. It's filled with arguments. Look, bro, when I was your age, I used to argue with my parents too. There was things I didn't agree with them on. But guess what? They just wanted what's best for me. And I didn't realize it at the time. It's the same with you, man. Trust me. He said, at least they probably understood you sometimes. I'm going to say, yeah, you'd be mistaken. He said, they never understand me. I said, look, they will. It just takes time. I'm going to say, I have to take you back home, okay? It's not safe being out here. You're not old enough. He said, whatever, bro. Oh, poor kid. I'm going to say, come on. I said, come on, let's go. Oh my gosh. I feel bad for him, guys. The reason why he ran away is because he just felt like he wasn't loved it seems like but it's all right we're gonna talk it out oh my gosh i said watch your parents are gonna be so happy because they miss you and he said yeah yeah oh poor marcus he said i'll probably get grounded i said no you won't all right we're here and he said we'll see come on all right we're walking right in i don't even care he said sir marcus oh my gosh oh they're hugging him I missed you. They said, where have you been? Ah, oh, look at him. He looks kind of happy. He said, hi. He said, where did you go? Why did you run away? He said, uh, I just didn't feel loved. Who said that to you? How? It was all arguments. Oh, guys. Who lied to you? Oh, this is so sad. I mean, look, everyone goes through hard times, guys. It's part of life. They said, we care about you. He said, if we didn't love you, we would have left you outside. We went looking for you the past three days. And they said, it's fine. Just talk to us next time. Aw. He said, okay. I love you, mom and dad. Thank you. And aw, he's crying. They said, aw, come here. I'm gonna say, well, uh, Sir Marcus, uh, Mr. Marcus, I guess. Ugh. I'm gonna say, I'm out of here now. I think my work is finished. And he said, wait. I'm gonna say, no, no, it's okay. Keep the money. I don't need it. He said, nah, this is yours. I'm gonna say, nope, it's yours. Uh, I'm glad everything's okay. Take good care of your son. Make sure he feels loved. He said, will happen, but I insist. No, no, it's okay. Thank you. Goodbye, Gabby, and goodbye, Marcus. Ah, I'm out of there. Well, boys, moral of the story, you're more loved than you know. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed that video, be sure to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.